Hey guys, Tony Luce from Network Optics. Today I'm going to tell you guys uh, how to uh, set up and use NX Video Wall. Now, if you're not familiar, NX Video Wall is a um, built in method for controlling uh, multi monitor uh, setups or remote monitor uh, applications. Um, NX Video Wall allows an operator to sit at an NX Witness client and control an entire video wall um, or multiple operators to control an entire video wall and participate in a video wall application. Uh, it's very useful. Um, it's super simple to set up um, and it scales from uh, one user and two monitors uh, to uh, basically an endless size. So there's really no limit uh, for how to uh, take advantage of it. So the first thing you want to do is open up your client application, right? Um, in our office, uh, we have a meeting room um, where you can see we have um, two 50-inch monitors set up the, at the front of the office. Now, those monitors are uh, used for presentations and various things. We're going to use them for the video wall today. So, go to new, uh, go to sorry, main menu, select new, and go to video wall. Under video wall, go ahead and enter the name of the video wall. Um, in this instance, I'm going to call it uh, meeting room video wall. Click OK. Now, you can have multiple video walls or multiple monitors in a system. Uh, once you add them, you'll see them down here. So I've just added meeting room video wall. Video wall was there before. I'm going to go ahead and delete that old video wall. right? And, and now what I need to do is I've created video a video wall in the system. Now I need to attach it to a specific um, set of monitors and machine. Now in our office we have this setup. We have an NX2. It's connected to two different monitors. right? Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remote in to that machine and I'm going to control it uh, using TeamViewer to attach it. So if I open up that monitor uh, you can see here I've got meeting room video wall on that client as well. Um, the client needs to be installed on the machine that's going to be controlling the video wall. Important to remember um, right click on that and click attach to video wall. Now that client machine is going to, the software on the client machine is going to detect how many monitors are connected to that machine. So our meeting room we have one machine connected to two monitors. You can see each monitor here. Go ahead and click plus on each one of them to add them to the video wall and click OK. So now you can see I've got two virtual monitors um, which are going to be um, used as representations for the physical monitors that are actually there. So the last thing you want to do before starting to control the video wall is you want to switch to video wall mode. So go ahead and switch to video wall mode and press yes. Now you're going to see on the uh, screen here it's going to go to a blank uh, network optics logo. Now on the real screen in the meeting room um, both screens have switched over to this mode. Right? So this is exactly what we want. Um, in just a second, I'll show you exactly how to control video wall and all the things we can do with it. All right, so we've set up video wall. Uh, we've attached it to our two monitors, uh, and now we're going to start controlling it. Right? So remember, we have this monitor, or we have this camera set up in our meeting room, so you guys can see exactly what happens when we start to control video wall. So when we when we look at the system tree here, we have two monitors. One of the things I like to do is I like to identify uh, which monitor is which. So you can see here on the left screen is called screen, the right screen is called screen 2. So I'm going to go ahead and rename these screens. So this one's going to be left, and the one on the right, I'm going to get creative and call it right. Alright, now just to make sure that worked, go right click and choose identify again. You can see left is left and right is right, so we chose correctly. Now. Um, we can do several things at this point. Um, if I want to share a specific camera view like uh, Wesley Pipes up on the roof, I can go ahead and drag that and drop it on the left one. Right? And what you're going to see is the left screen up there is going to change to the Wesley Pipes view. Uh, Wesley Pipes is in black and white right now. It doesn't look very good. So why don't we switch that one over to our kitchen view. Right? So now I can see what's happening in the kitchen. Uh, push that up there. Um, I can do the IT room door on the right, right? Just drag and drop it. It's going to be immediately put up there, right? 
So that's pretty cool. Now, one of the other things I could do is do layouts. So I can actually share specific layouts and views up there. So what if we say I want to see um, the internal office cameras up on the left? So I just throw that view up there. That entire view gets pushed up to the to the uh, left monitor there. And one of the interesting things about that is that it's not just that view. Now, if I go to the internal camera offers view here and I start to um, play with the actual layout, right? So let's say I don't like that layout and I want to change it a bit. So I can go ahead and change this layout around. Now, if I switch back over to the, the view um, and, I, and I save this layout, then that view is going to change to match my layout here. So it's a very cool, very fast, and very easy video wall control or remote monitor control application. Uh, super simple. Now, uh, one of the other things I can do is, let's say I don't want to work it with this way where I drag and drop on it. Let's say I want an actual interface where I can see what I'm controlling. So I can go here, open video walls. Now I can see a virtual representation of everything that's up on those two screens. Right? And I can do the same thing that I just was doing. So let's say I push my video wall camera up there. So I can push my video wall camera, which is a got the, the, the views of the monitor itself. Right? I can uh, go to uh, the 180 cam and maybe just throw that up there. So I have a 180 view. Right? So in my meeting room, I've got the 180 cam running up there now. Um, how about uh, the roof BTZ? Let's throw that up there instead of the 180. Right, that's going to switch right now one of the other things I can do is I can say okay I want to share my entire screen up here so let's push my screen now now my screen everything that's happening on my screen is being displayed on that video wall over there so if I switch to the video wall view you can see as I'm changing things on my screen here the video wall is also changing right in real time everything that I'm doing so in terms of like you know sharing and collaboration uh, this is a really nice way to show somebody what you're looking at as it's happening. Um, you can switch, you can actually show your entire desktop. So it doesn't just have to be, uh, you know, within the application itself. You can share third party applications up on the video wall using the NX Witness video wall feature. So it's a really powerful video wall feature. Uh, it's very affordable, it's very scalable, and it's very uh, simple to use. So if you guys have any questions, contact us at support at networkoptics.com or reach out to uh, any of our sales team and we'll be happy to give you guys free trial licenses to try this out in the real world.